Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about simple camera navigation in iClone 6. So to just get started, let's go ahead and add a prop into our scene first. To do that, I'm going to go to my Content Manager, into my Set tab up here, into my Props and 3D Blocks folders, and I'm going to scroll down and find myself this box 001. Now I can click and drag this to uh, you know any corner of my uh, grid here. You can see it snaps to each corner of my grid, or I can simply just double click it, and it'll add to my scene root, which is this little crosshairs here, the red, green, and blue, standing for the X, Y, and Z axes. Now, the key to navigating an icon, the, the most simple way possible, is holding the Alt key. So if I hold down the Alt key with my object selected here and press the left mouse button, that'll allow me to pan back and forth and up and down. If I hold the Alt key and my right mouse button, that will allow me to orbit around the object I have selected. So pretty simple. And if I hold the Alt key and both mouse buttons, that will allow me to zoom in and zoom out. So that's really your basic camera navigation in iClone, uh, holding the Alt key and using all of your mouse buttons. You can also scroll your mouse uh, wheel as well to zoom in and out like this. And keep in mind that you should, you should always have your preview camera selected. Unless you have a specific camera that you'd like to use, make sure that you go up here and select this preview menu and currently we only have a preview camera. If you add cameras later, you may have ad additional cameras up here. But we'll just worry about this right now. So let's make sure that we're on preview camera and then refine and dandy. Let's add another character. Let's add another item into our scene. Let's add a character. I'm gonna go over here to my uh, actor tab and into my avatar folder into G6 characters. I'm just gonna click and drag Mr. Mason, our G6 character into our scene. So once Mason's added in, I'm going to give you a couple of hotkeys that are really useful, uh, super useful for camera navigation. Now normally when you navigate, you're going to navigate around the object that you have selected. So currently we have Mason selected, and if I press the Alt and right mouse button, you can see I'm orbiting now around Mason right here. Alt and left mouse button, and Alt and zoom in and out. It'll be relative to uh, our selected object currently, which is Mason. But what if we don't have anything selected? So if I click off here, and I, you know, hold the Alt key and left mouse button, and I go way over here, and then I hold Alt and right mouse button to orbit, I can't really find my characters, and that's because I'm orbiting around the scene root, which is that little crosshairs that I showed you before. Now, if I want to uh, find my characters, if I'm lost in my scene somewhere, the easiest way to find the items in your scene is to go to your scene manager uh, tab right here. And you can see we have Avatar Mason, and we have a box. So I'm going to select the Avatar Mason, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the A hotkey, and that's going to give me a right-hand view of Mason. If I press the S hotkey, that'll give me a view from the left-hand side. The D hotkey will give me a rear view, uh, D for derriere, I guess, and F for front will give you a front view of Mason. The G hotkey will give you an overhead view. The H hotkey won't do anything in this case, but the J hotkey will focus on your character's face. Now the J hotkey only works for characters uh, because props don't have faces or heads. Uh, the J hotkey is really useful for zooming in quickly on a character's face uh, to do some facial animation. In addition to that, we have the K hotkey. And the K hotkey will give you an overhead 45 degree angle view of all of the objects in your scene. So say for example, I wanted to add some more uh, cubes into my scene. I went over here to content and I added a couple more uh, boxes into my scene. Let's just click and drag these boxes, you know, way over here and uh, way over here. So we have Mason in a, in a strange field of boxes. We can go ahead and add a terrain in as well. Let's just uh, double click this props folder to minimize it up there or to roll it up and go to terrain, double click on that in our height map, large terrain. You should have this with iClone 6. We'll just double click on this Butte terrain and that'll uh, load in our terrain. So say for example, I hold Alt and the left mouse button and I pan way over here and then I press the K button, K hotkey. Now you can see it focuses, it tries to get everything in my scene centered. So it's kind of the center of all of these objects. So if you want to get an overhead view of all the props and everything in your scene, the K hotkey is very useful. Now if I select something, so if I go to my scene view right here, or my scene tab rather, and I select Mason, and I, I use my home, uh, my home key, uh, it'll be function home on some laptops like mine, uh, it'll go to a 45 degree view of just Mason. So that's the, the K and the home key are quite similar in that way, but the K will be your overhead scene view. Now in a large scene like this, this is the reason I added in this large terrain here, it's often more useful to be able to navigate, uh, zoom in and out, move left and right faster. 
So to do that, um, hold down the Alt key and the Shift key. And let's hold both mouse buttons and zoom in and out. Now by holding the Alt and Shift key and both mouse buttons, I can zoom in and out a lot faster. And the same goes with panning and orbiting as well. If I hold Alt, Shift, and the left mouse button, you can see I can just zoom by everything, and it'll go by a lot faster. And Alt, Shift, and the right mouse button will allow me to, you know, orbit around my scene a lot faster as well. It makes you a little bit dizzy there. Um, but that's really useful for large scenes like this, like the terrain. You can see if I zoom in and out holding Alt and Shift how large this terrain is. Uh, that's where it can be really useful in situations like that. So let's press the F key and we can just focus in on uh, Mason on the front there and we can hold Alt and the right mouse button to orbit a little bit around as well. Now, in addition to those hotkeys, if you want to go, uh, you know, old school and use the buttons on the, on the toolbar, you're more than welcome to. Those are up here. You can use this one here, the Z hotkey for zoom. And that'll zoom in and out just like this. The uh, X hotkey will be for pan and that'll uh, allow you to pan left and right, just like holding Alt and the left mouse button. And this one here is Orbit, or the C hotkey, and that will allow you to you know, orbit your selected item like this. And this one here contains all of the different uh, hotkeys that I just showed you. So if you click on the arrow there on the bottom, you can see all the different hotkeys. And there's also a bottom one here, which doesn't really have a hotkey. It's not used very often there, so we'll just uh, you know, click on that, and you can go to the bottom view of Mason, and then press K to go to your overhead view of your entire scene. So that's really all there is to uh, ca simple camera navigation in iClone. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email us at developer at and I'll provide a list of hotkeys in the description below. So again, thank you for watching.